Hello friends! How's it going? It's me, Betty Jean. Today I'm doing a first impressions on the new Nomad Cosmetics Orient Express palette. Nomad Cosmetics was super kind and sent me this palette. This is in no way sponsored. I'm just choosing to make this video because you guys were really interested in seeing a video on it. So here I am. I just got it today and I was super excited to play with it. The outer packaging of this is so cool. It's velvety similar to the ABH palettes, but it's also plushy. Like you can push down on it. It's really cool. I do think I'm gonna get this very dirty. I would personally prefer more of a harder packaging because I can wipe it down easier if I so choose, but I do think it's cute. It's just not practical for my messy lifestyle. <laughs> the color scheme is so cool. I adore the pops of primary colors in here. This could also be very neutral glam if that's the route you wanna go with maybe just a pop of color if you so choose. I also feel like this is gonna be very holiday appropriate come December, provided the world has settled down enough to go to Christmas parties by then, I could totally see busting this out to do a very Christmas glam look, but this also makes really cute summer appropriate looks as well. Like, I feel so cute with this green yellow moment going on right now. This palette is retailing for $44. It is available now, provided it's not sold out by the time this video goes up. I do have a discount code with them. It's ButteBean10. It's not a commission code. I do not make any money off of it. It's simply just for you if you want to save some money if you're interested in this palette. But yeah, thank you so much Nomad for sending this over. I'm very grateful that I have a chance to play with this. I've a lot of you know I have a very tight, almost non-existent makeup budget right now. So there's a high chance I might not have been able to try this out had they not sent it to me. So I'm very grateful that I'm able to try this out and play with it for you guys. I do plan on doing an IGTV video with this very soon actually. It should be going up within the next couple days. I also want to do a multiple looks video because I'm very inspired and have a very specific idea of a look I want to do for that video. So stay tuned for those. I'm very excited. Anyways, for now, let's just hop in and do this look and chat about it some more at the end. Hey, hello! I'm really excited to create a look. I have a very specific idea in mind and I can't wait to do it. We're gonna prime with the Smashbox Lid Primer in Light today. It's my number one favorite eyeshadow primer. Let me just do something with this hair and get to priming. I don't like to set my eyeshadow base. I like mine to be a little on the tacky side. That's just my preference. Do whatever suits your needs. I'm gonna go ahead and just start with Golden Age, this really cute matte yellow. I'm gonna take this MOTD Cosmetics. It's the Conceal Your Secret brush. I'm pretty sure it's meant for like under eye concealer, but I use it as a blending brush and it works nicely. I'm just going to kind of start going from inner to outer corner, keeping it pretty rounded. I do want this blown out, but I don't want it to be so much a cat eye shape. I want it to be very much that rounded kind of feel. What are you guys up to? I just got this palette today. It's the 8th, I think, whatever Saturday is. Hello. I'm going to aim to upload this video tomorrow, so... Hello from the present. I'm tucking this yellow underneath that lower lash as well. I just love yellow eyeshadow. It'll always make me happy. One of my absolute favorite colors to play with on my eyes. I think the concept for this palette is so cute because they always kind of just choose one destination for their uh, collection themes and I love that this is like multiple destinations. It's so fun. I mean not so much multiple destinations, more like going to multiple destinations, you know. It's a train. Now that I have that yellow laid down, I'm gonna take this green shade here. It's a really cute tone, and I want this to be on my eye look as well. This is just a small e.l.f. brush. It's the e.l.f. Tapered Blending Brush. And I'm gonna focus this on the inner and outer portion of my eye, and I'll start blending it through the center just a tiny bit, but I want most of this pigment to be focused in the inner and outer portion of my crease. I'm gonna put a little something on my lid in the inner and outer corner as well as far as shimmer goes, but I do want this to be here a little bit just to help kind of blend into the crease. Going for very blown out today. It's gonna to be very, very cute. Look how pretty that green is. The Nomad shadows are such a soft formula, I almost stabbed myself in the eye. <laughs> how scary. What I was saying was their formula is so soft, they just blend like absolute butter. They're a little on the powdery side, but not so powdery that they just dust away into nothing. I feel like the pigment still sticks around really nicely. I find their shadows to be very beginner friendly in my opinion. Now just with the leftover on this brush, I'll start kind of sweeping it lightly through the center. But again, more focus on the inner and outer and of course the lower lash line. Oh, these colors are so cute. I am feeling like a bowl of fruit already. I'm gonna take that first blending brush I had, no additional product, holding the very end of my brush so I don't have a lot of pressure. I'm just gonna lightly start buffing away at these edges so it can all 
be super soft and seamless before we go in with shimmers, which I'm really excited about. The shimmers in this palette make me so happy. Just based off my first impressions of the swatches, I think they're really cute. So this is pretty much all I want to do with the crease action. I know it's very simple, just two shadows, but I really want the shimmers to be the spotlight of this look. I'm going to take this brush right here. It's from Kaleidos. It's the number S4 brush. It's like kind of flat, but not super, super flat because I don't necessarily need a crazy precise cut crease. I still want like a little precision for the halo cut, but not like super insane. I'm taking a little NYX glitter primer because I use glitter primer with every shimmer ever. It helps everything pop super nicely and helps me get really precise if I'm doing anything remotely cut, which I'm doing a little bit here. I'm just kind of going back and forth right in the center, right where my eyeball kind of sits. Something like that, just trying to lay down that stickiness. We're going to start with Venice. This is going to be our middle shade and it's so pretty guys. This is such a standout color. Oh yes. Wow, it's so pretty. And again, I'm just going to kind of follow my eyeball shape here right in the middle. The shifts in this duochrome are just so outstanding. They're so... it's just so lovely. Oh, it's so cute. And I'm just going to kind of fill in the entire middle of my lid and then we'll go in with the next shimmer in just a second. Oh, it's so cute. So glamorous looking. I've been so excited for this palette to arrive so I could film with it. I have so many ideas. I'm going to take Grand Sweet now, this shimmer green. This might be a little bit more of a satin, which satins aren't my favorite formula in the world to work with, but it'll work for this. I'm just taking the clean side of that same brush and I'm going to be patting this on the inner and outer portion of my lid just to kind of connect like the shimmer into the green. I think it's going to be a nice little transition. And then going back in with a little bit more Venice just to help kind of blend these shadows together so they can shift from one to the other nicely. Check that out. What a cool little shine. I love that. I'm going to take the brush that I have with the matte green just to very lightly help blend right at these edges. I'm going to take this same brush, the Kaleidos brush I had before with a little bit more Venice, and I want to pop a little of that in the center of my lower lash line. Sometimes I don't do like a halo-y look with my lower lash, but sometimes I like it. Today I'm feeling it. Just kind of dibble dabble in it right there in the center. And then I'm gonna use that same brush with the matte green, no additional product to help blend that out. I'm gonna take this shade right here, Alberg, Arlberg. Oh my gosh, I know I butchered that. I'm so sorry. I want that in my inner corner. It's swatched really nice, so. I think that's the color that I want in the inner corner. Oh yes, that's perfect. I love this Venice shade. Wow, it's so pretty. Very unique to my collection. I don't think I have something completely like this. Oh my gosh, that is so lovely. Okay, I'm gonna repeat this on the other eye. Throw on like lashes, lips, liner, all that good stuff. Once I'm complete, I will be back. Hello. I am back. It's me complete. I love this look. I feel very glamorous, but also very like, I don't know, everyday. But that's, that's weird for me to say because I'll wear literally anything, anytime, any day, anywhere, any place. It doesn't matter. I don't, <laughs> I, I'll wear any color anytime. I think this is just so pretty though. That lid shade is giving me life. It's so wet. I love the shifts in it. I could stare at it forever. <laughs> The eye pencil I went with is Glitzy Gold from NYX. I just wanted a gold to kind of go with the moment that's going on on my eyes. My lashes are What's Your Damage from Estico. And on my lips, I went with Cherish from Sugar Pill. I just wanted a nice pink, nothing too loud. I felt like it was, like, subtle, but it also, like, compliments. I don't know. I like it overall. <laughs> I know some of you might be sad that I wore giant lashes, but I just felt like it suited it. It's a very glamorous look, and then you get that nice pop behind the lashes. I don't know. I feel the need to defend myself when I wear big lashes because people get so upset with me. But yeah, this is my look. Let's zoom out, and I'll give you my thoughts thus far. All right, hello, I'm back. I hope you guys like this look. I feel very good about it. I think it's so pretty. I keep staring at my eyelids. That Venice shade is just so stunning. So far, I'm feeling pretty good about it. I know I haven't used, like even half of the shades yet, but what I use is what I would expect from Nomad. This palette has a mixture of mattes, it seems like there's satins, shimmers, and even duochromes. 
I love the multi textures in here. I think that's very fun. Their mattes are very easy to use, very blendable. The green shade that I use that I'm not sure if it's a satin or a shimmer, it might be kind of an in-between. To me, it's a little bit more of a satin, but it could just be a not insanely metallic shimmer. It worked really pretty. It's really nice on the eyes. It blended in with my mattes really nicely. That Venice shade, you guys already know, it took my breath away. I can't wait to play with some more of these duochromes. I might do like a really pretty neutral glam with like a pop of color, and then I want to keep the other look a secret. And I don't know what I'm going to do for IGTV yet. I guess we will soon see. But yeah, overall, so far I'm really liking it. This is not a review. It's just a first impression. I've only used it just this one time so far, but so far so good. It's everything I would expect from Nomad. They always kill it. I'm actually wearing one of their highlights right now from the Studio 54 collection. This one's called Disco Night, so it looks like that super pretty on the cheeks. Anyways, I guess that's it. If you made it to the end of this video, leave me a train emoji. If there is one, I'm sure there's a train. If not, leave me a boat. <laughs> just to represent the travel aspect of this palette. If you liked this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you're not already, please hop over to my Instagram. It's Butte Bean. Follow me there. I post every single day. And don't forget to subscribe. I'm posting most days here as well. Black Lives Matter is always going to be relevant. Please make sure you're continuing to stay informed and educated. There will be a link in my description box to resources and ways in which you can help. Thank you so much for watching, and I will catch you in the next one. Okay, bye!